Good morning. We will pay attention to income tax today. When checks are issued to pay provisional tax payments, the amount owed to SARS is paid. Therefore, it means that the SARS income tax account that we open to record any transactions with SARS when we pay income tax will be debited because the bank account is credited. SARS income tax account is debited to indicate that we reduce the liability because we owe less money to SARS. You are not allowed to write any amount in the income tax account before the final profit is calculated at the end of the year. Only after this final profit is calculated, income tax can be calculated to determine the expense and then you will debit the income tax account and credit SARS income tax. <coughs> the following information was obtained from Kimberley Limited. SARS owed 6000 income tax to the business on the 1st of March. In your SARS income tax account, you will open the account with a debit balance of 6000 because the money is owed by SARS, so it is an asset for the business. <coughs> a provisional tax payment was made on the 31st of August, so we issued a check to SARS for 40000 the bank was credited and the SARS income tax account is debited to indicate that we are paying off the debt that we owe SARS during the year. A second check was paid for provisional tax payments of 50000 So again, the SARS income tax account will be debited and the bank account will be credited. The profit for the year is calculated as 400000 After this final profit was calculated, that means all the additional adjustments were made, corrections were made, any omissions, the entries were recorded, and the bookkeeper is satisfied with the profit. You can determine what is the profit for the year. Income tax is calculated at 28% on this final profit for the year, and that gives me 112,000. So for the first time, I know what is the expense for the business, and I will debit my expense account with 112,000. Who do we owe the money to? To SARS. So we will credit the SARS income tax account to complete the double entry. If we balance the SARS income tax account now, we see that the balancing figure is 16000 So that indicates that we didn't pay enough provisional tax payments during the year. We still owe 16000 to SARS that will be paid within the next two months. The following balance will appear in the pre-adjustment trial balance. It means before we do the adjustments to calculate the profit and before we can calculate the income tax for the year. In this trial balance, there will be a balance on the debit side for the amounts indicated in that SARS income tax account at that stage. So it's before we calculate the income tax and if we add up the six. 40 and 50 together, it means that we have a debit balance of 96,000. So at the end of the year, before we calculate income tax, the balance in the pre-adjustment trial balance will be 96,000, indicating the provisional tax payments that was made during the year. After we calculated the income tax and recorded it on the credit side, we will determine the closing balance as 16,000. So that means in our post-adjustment trial balance, after we completed our adjustments, the balance will be 16,000 on the credit side. 
And in the post-adjustment trial balance, we see that the amount is a credit balance of 16000 because now we deducted the income tax for the year from the provisional tax payments and the balancing figure was on the credit side, indicating that we didn't pay enough tax to SARS. The balance for SARS income tax in the pre-adjustment trial balance is always the total amount paid for provisional tax payments. When you record the actual income tax for the year, you will credit the SARS income tax account and debit income tax. If there is a debit balance, indicates that there was too much provisional uh, tax paid to SARS, and that means that SARS owes money to the business. If, if there is a credit balance, it indicates that we pay too little provisional tax and that the business owes the amount to SARS. I want to do example where the provisional tax payments were incorrectly recorded in the SARS provisional tax payments account. So instead of recording the provisional tax payments in the SARS income tax account, they opened a separate account, SARS provisional tax payments. It is the same example that we've just completed. We had an opening balance in the SARS income tax account of 6000 indicating at the beginning of the year that SARS owes money to the business. Then we made two provisional tax payments and we debited the SARS provisional tax payments account. Before we can complete our income tax for the year, we first have to transfer this 90000 from this provisional tax payments account to the SARS income tax account. Then I will go and calculate the income tax for the year, indicate that my expense is 112,000, so the total amount that we must pay is 112. Who do we owe it to? To SARS, and we will transfer the income tax expense to the credit side of SARS. Because we move this provisional tax payments to the SARS income tax account on the debit side, I can now balance this account and determine what is the closing balance that will appear in the balance sheet. What did we learn? When provisional tax payments are made, the SARS income tax account is debited to reduce the outstanding amount that you owe for tax to SARS. Therefore, you will have a debit balance in the trial balance for these provisional tax payments. So your SARS income tax account will have a debit balance in the trial balance. You are not allowed to record any entry in the income tax account that is the expense for the business on the debit side before the final profit was calculated. Because only when we completed all the adjustments and the bookkeeper is satisfied and the auditor is satisfied with the books, can you calculate income tax. And then you will only record the income tax on the profit for the year. The provisional tax payments are recorded in a separate account. You have to transfer this balance on the debit side of the SARS provisional tax payments to SARS income tax account so that you will be able to determine the closing balance that you owe to SARS or that's owed by SARS that will appear in their balance sheet. If you pay too much provisional tax payments, the balance will appear under de, um, current assets. If you pay too little, the balance will appear under current liabilities.